Thank you. I'm Elizabeth Watley, and I run the We Over Me Farm at Paul Quinn College. How many of you have heard of Paul Quinn College? Okay, I think I saw six. So Paul Quinn, for those of you who don't know, is located in the southern sector of Dallas, Texas. Um, we are located in a section of Oak Cliff, which is called Highland Hills, where historically black college found in 1872. And we've been at this location for about 20 years. So just to give you a bit of information about that neighborhood, 98.9% .9 of Highland Hills is African American. $23,529 is the median income, and there's a 100% grocery retail leakage rate. So what that means is 100% of that community leaves outside of that area to go buy groceries. Um, as well as that, this community is a very proud community. In this image, you see a picture of a man who's holding a trash bag in his suit. This is just a regular Sunday. He's going to church. There's trash along the street, and the community comes out and picks up the trash. So this is a local grocery store um, in that area. And for those of you who are a little savvy, if you saw now open on top and then for sale at the bottom, this is the image of food in that area. There are no local grocery stores. In order to get food, you have to travel four or plus miles just for fresh produce. Now, if you want to get Cheetos, Doritos, and chips, which, hey, if that's your thing, that's fine. Nothing can get it. Then you can get that within a quarter of a mile, several different locations. Um, but this is the image for food in that community. We asked for a restaurant, I mean, or a restaurant, we asked for a grocery store on several occasions, um, and this is what we got. Coming soon, donuts, chicken and rice. And this picture was taken a few months ago, and it is now here. So they did keep on their promise, we do have um, chicken and rice and donuts. So, We've talked a lot about passion here today, and I would like to say our project is a part of passion mixed with a little bit of being pissed off. Um, this was our response to not having a grocery store. This is our response to saying, hey, we need access to fresh produce. We need this in our community, um, and no answer. So we partnered with Food for Good of PepsiCo, and we tore up our football field. We put a bulldozer. We had tractors come from all over, um, took off the top three or four inches, and completely cleaned it out. And we started planting right away. So we got the thumbs up from our mayor at the time and we were good to go. None of us really knew what we were doing, but we gave it a whirl anyways. This is one of our students um, who, like I said, we had no idea what we were doing. This project started um, with students from low economic areas, they all came in and we all know the importance of fresh food. It's like, hey, let me give it a whirl. We started in the summer. For those of you familiar with the summer heat in Dallas, it was hot. It was very, very hot. None of them wanted to go out. We didn't know what we were doing, um, but we kept trying at it. It started to pick up a little bit of momentum. You know, we were planting seeds and then you're getting produce and it's like, hey, I got collard greens here. Okay, here we go. So it's picking up momentum and then we have a field full of fresh food right there on our football field. So in addition to growing our own food, this is Spike, our mascot, who kind of describes in all what we do. We are pushing football to the side and we are focusing on fresh produce. But he's also our mascot for social entrepreneurship. While we teach the students how to grow food, we also teach them how to address a social problem with a business plan. And that's the part of the farm. We have this social problem that affects our community right there. What can we do to address it in a business manner? So in addition to us working in our own community, other communities started coming to us with our same economic level. Um, and we started teaching what we're doing and taking our model and putting it in other areas. So this is a group coming to us, and then us, this is us going to a group. We've helped over five other community gardens in that area get started, maintain, and execute a plan. Similar to ours, no other football fields have been ripped up, but they are growing fresh produce in their area. So this is, a, we switched our football field around. We wanted to maximize our space, and then we went to a square foot gardening method to be able to maximize the amount of food that we were growing for the community. So these pictures that you see, while they look like something you've seen before, a squash blossom, a head of lettuce, a bell pepper, I put these images up here because these are the ones that fascinated our students. The little bell pepper plant holding this huge pepper was awesome. 
We've never seen it grow on a plant before. Squash blossom, what? You can eat them with ricotta? We had no idea. So these are things that made a big splash. We had a huge student um, look like a football player, and he was part of the original farm team, and he'd come out and be like, oh, do I have to work out here? And then he'd put a seed down, he'd leave and walk away. Then he came back and he saw some sprouting going, and then he left and came back, and he's had this arugula. And if any of you know what arugula is like, it has that spicy, that nutty flavor, nothing that lettuce would normally taste like. So now when people come out, he runs over and is like, you want to taste my arugula? Like, this is what we do. <laughs> so <laughs> we're moving along. So we're slowly but steady. We started off, no idea, taking a guess and a stab at everything we do, but then you get pride in your projects and you learn the importance of your project. And now we're the cool kids on campus. So we go to markets all over the city of Dallas, and people now come up to us and say, hey, I heard you guys are doing this. How do you do it? How can we take your model? How can we be like Paul Quinn? We've never heard that before. This is brand new. We love it, and it, we act uh, like a pro at it. Yeah, you know, just tear up your football field, you know, put some amendments down and put some seeds in. But we are now the cool kids on campus. I no longer have to pull um, teeth out. I no longer have to fight with people. You now have to apply to be on the farm team. Um, so that's a big win. For those of you who don't know, that's a big win for us. Um, the Real Estate Council, um, so we've attracted lots of attention. We applied for a grant with the Real Estate Council of Dallas, and they came in and we won a grant from them. They ripped out our bleachers on our football field. They were completely dilapidated, they were a health hazard, and they put in over a 2,200 square foot greenhouse. This greenhouse is gonna allow us to expand our project tremendously. We can now grow our own transplants for our tomatoes. We can now grow year round. Um, we can now do our own seed saving. So this is going to be the hub for the community to learn as well as us to be able to centralize our um, production. Aquaponics, so again, we're very new to this. Um, we have an aquaponics system that was donated to us, which has been awesome. We're currently starting with goldfish and growing plants. If any of you are familiar with aquaponics, it normally has tilapia, but like I said, we're new. I figure if we can keep goldfish alive, then we can definitely keep some tilapia alive. So we've um, been able to keep our goldfish alive. They have um, produced great for the plants, and they've also multiplied. So they are happy, and we will be transitioning to uh, tilapia. As well as we have bees on our farm, and we just got a chicken coop that was built um, and designed by a Deloitte team on their impact day, so that was awesome. Um, and so we're growing. That was just two weeks ago. Um, these are images from our annual fundraiser that we do every year. It's called a Community Cooks. Um, and this event is held directly on the football field. It's held um, with chefs from all over the city of Dallas come straight to that area, and they cook directly on the field. We have a live band, we have a guest speaker, um, but this is important because this event brings people from all over the city of Dallas that had no idea Paul Quinn existed. They had no idea what we're doing there. Um, and so this gets people to the college that would have never even known that we existed. So this is an awesome event. It gets chefs out, it gets local farmers out, um, it gets the community out, and this has been one of our biggest fundraisers um, for the farm. So this last image is kind of our signature pose. It's the Heisman. It's exactly what we're doing. Um, we're on a football field. We're actually here at Yale University installing a community garden in the urban areas of New Haven. So we partnered with Yale which is unheard of. Paul Quinn partnering with Yale University is one of those other things that's just like, what? Paul Quinn, small and circle black college in Dallas, partnering with Yale University, but it did happen. Um, and this picture to me just kind of sums up what we've done, the pride the students take in their project, and um, the more that we have to go. Thank you.